self-confessed serial killer, James Philip Barnes, born on March 7, 1962. James Philip Barnes started his criminal career at a very early age. From the 1970s until he was arrested for his wife's murder, Barnes racked up convictions in Brevard for burglary, grand theft, aggravated battery, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, violation of state probation, resisting arrest, battery domestic violence, and trafficking in stolen property. Barnes had been in and out of prison since his teenage years, including time served for convictions for grand theft, forgery, burglary and trafficking in stolen property. Barnes broke into the home of Patricia aka Patsy Miller on April 20, 1988. Patricia was a 41-year-old nurse in Melbourne, Florida. Barnes broke into Miller's home through a bedroom window and confronted her at knife point before sexually assaulting her. Afterward, James Philip Barnes attacked her with a hammer, then bound her with his shoelaces while she was lying face down on the bed. After bludgeoning her with a hammer, Barnes set her bed on fire in an attempt to conceal the crime and fled the area. A medical examiner later determined that Miller had died from blunt force trauma to the head, and had been killed before the starting of the fire. According to investigators, Barnes did not know Miller, and her killing went unsolved. On December 11, 1997, Barnes strangled his estranged wife, 44-year-old Linda Barnes, at her home in West Melbourne. On December 2, Barnes had been given a restraining order against Linda that prohibited him from going near her or her home. After killing his wife, Barnes stuffed her body in a closet and remained at the house. On December 12, sheriff's deputies arrested Barnes at the house and he was charged with Linda's murder. In 1997, Brevard County Sheriff's Office investigators found the body of Barnes' wife, Linda, a 44-year-old medical assistant, inside a bedroom closet at their home in the Woodland Oaks subdivision off Eber Boulevard in unincorporated West Melbourne. Barnes was arrested and charged with first-degree murder. In 1998, Barnes was sentenced to life in prison. And in 2005, Barnes, who remained incarcerated in prison, wrote a letter to Assistant State Attorney Michael Hunt requesting an interview. Barnes, who had converted to Islam, confessed to the unsolved murder of Patricia Miller while fasting during Ramadan. Barnes sent a letter to the Assistant State Attorney confessing to the crime. In 1997, DNA evidence obtained matched Barnes, and he had been questioned in the case. However, at the time, he had refused to talk with Brevard County authorities. No charges were filed until an indictment was handed down by a Brevard County grand jury. In the letter, Barnes told prosecutors he wanted to clear his conscience. Barnes said in the letter, I murdered Patricia Miller so there would be no witness or complaint against me. Barnes request in a prison interview video taped weeks later by a Melbourne detective. Barnes described how he had entered a bedroom window in 1988 at the River Oaks condominiums and killed Patricia Patsy Miller, a 41-year-old Melbourne nurse. Barnes raped her, strangled her with her bathrobe belt and fatally struck her in the head with a hammer and then he set her bed to fire with her body on it to eliminate evidence. A sentencing order said, asked by the court if he knew Miller, he replied, no, I didn't. In 2006, Barnes pleaded guilty to first-degree premeditated murder in Miller's death. He was also convicted of two counts of sexual battery, armed burglary and arson. In 2007, a trial court sentenced Barnes to death for the senseless brutal and tortuous killing of Patricia Miller in her home. 
Barnes' 2007 death sentence order notes that an expert in forensic psychology testified he was a psychopath who grew up in a violent home without love or support with his family, and he had a cocaine dependency and antisocial personality disorder. On the 3rd of August 2023, James Philip Barnes was executed. James Philip Barnes, 61 was pronounced dead at 6.13 p.m. following a lethal injection at Florida State Prison in Stark. Lying on a gurney, Barnes appeared to already have his eyes shut when the curtain was opened for witnesses. He didn't respond when prison officials asked if he had a final statement, and he remained motionless except for breathing for about 10 minutes until that stopped. Nor did James Philip Barnes request a last meal or have any visitors. A doctor then pronounced him dead. Barnes' execution was a unique case for death row inmates, as lawyers are usually filing for appeals and clemency hearings in the last weeks before a lethal injection is scheduled. But on June 28, Brevard County Circuit Judge Steve Henderson issued an order that Barnes had chosen to dismiss all post-conviction proceedings that would prevent his execution. Barnes was not only competent, but also intelligent in describing his conversations with the inmate. The defendant specifically told the court that he did not want to delay justice and he wanted to see justice to be served in this case. Still, there were several who advocated for Barnes' clemency, including the Florida Conference of Catholic Bishops, which scheduled a series of vigils across the state Thursday. In a letter to Florida Governor Ron DeSantis earlier this week, the group wrote that Barnes' willing acceptance of death did not make the sentence incorrect, adding, simply put, no one should be executed in our modern penal system even if they willingly accept it. The non-profit Floridians for alternatives to the death penalty also hosted vigils across the state and virtually on Thursday the 3rd of August 2023. To honor both Barnes and the victims lives. According to Maria Deli Barato, Executive Director of FADEP, the group holds services for every execution in the state of Florida and people show up in support both in person and online from around the country. James Philip Barnes, who recently dropped all legal appeals was executed Thursday the 3rd of August 2023. For the 1988 murder of a woman who was sexually assaulted, killed with a hammer and then set on fire in her own bed. Barnes' death marks the 104th execution carried out by Florida since the death penalty was reinstated in 1976. He is also the fifth person to die by lethal injection in the state this year. Under DeSantis' administration, Florida is said to become the most extreme in terms of death penalty laws after the governor signed a bill in April that would allow executions to be sentenced on jury votes of 8 to 4. Prior to the new law, death sentences could only be handed out with a unanimous jury vote. Florida is now tied with Texas for the most executions carried out this year. Other states who have performed executions include Missouri. Oklahoma and Alabama. Thank you for watching Death Row.